Hello everyone, Fletcher here with DJ Event Planner. In this video, we are going to cover iCalendars in DJEP. This video will cover what is an iCalendar used for, an overview of the settings, how to get the link to add to your third-party calendar application, adding another DJEP user's link to your calendar, and basic troubleshooting. So let's begin. First of all, what is an iCalendar used for? An iCalendar is used to see events in an external calendar program, such as Google or iCal. It can be customized to create unique calendars for yourself, employees, and other DJEP users. Now let's take a look at the iCalendar settings. To begin setting up your iCalendar, log in to DJEP, click on Setup, and then iCalendar. Here, you can create a new calendar, edit a current calendar, duplicate a calendar, delete a calendar, get your iCalendar links, and a few others we'll touch on later in this video. So let's begin by creating a new iCalendar by clicking the green Create a New iCalendar button. The calendar name is what it will appear as in your DJEP account for your own knowledge. The title for events is how this will appear in your external calendar program. You can utilize merge tags from the dropdown to auto-populate the event title. Select the merge tag you would like added to title for events and click insert. Next is choose an employee dropdown. Here is where you can select if this iCalendar will show events tied to all employees or just a specific employee. If creating a master calendar, select all employees. And if creating a calendar for specific employee, select their name in this dropdown. In this case, we're gonna create an employee specific iCalendar. Next, you can decide if you'd like to include appointments, time off, and blacked out days in this iCalendar. The next option is for event statuses. Check the statuses that you would like to include in this iCalendar feed. Most often, statuses used are pending and booked. Under include the following event details, we're going to select the details that we want to include in this iCalendar. These are the details that will appear in the third-party calendar application. Make sure to choose only the details that you utilize in your account. If making a calendar for an employee, make sure you are only including information pertinent to them. In other words, if you do not allow your employees to see financials, make sure those are not selected. One I always like to include here, for sure, is venue contact information because this includes the address of the venue and most third-party applications will recognize the address and link to a map application or program. Once we have selected our event details, the next option is Other Settings. If you utilize Setup Time instead of Start Time, you can select that here. If you have employees that have specific start times, make sure to select Use Employee Specific Times instead of Start Time. Under Employee Portal Visibility, if this calendar is for a specific employee, the name that we selected in the drop-down above, select that employee's name here to enable them to get their iCalendar link from within their employee portal. If you do not select this option, then you will need to manually send them their link. And finally, external DJ sharing options. This is a section that will allow you to share an iCalendar link with another DJEP user to put in their DJEP calendar. To use this, click Enable and then enter their DJEP account number. Please note, this option only works with the dynamic link. If you are on a basic subscription level, you will not be able to share your calendar with another DJEP user. Since this calendar will not be shared with an ex another DJEP user, we're gonna leave this option disabled. Once we finish with our settings, Click Save and Publish. To add your DJP calendar to your external calendar program, click the dark gray Get Calendar Links button next to the calendar you want to use. Copy the link you would like to use and paste it into your third-party calendar application. If you are unsure how to add a linked calendar, be sure to search your third-party application's helper support. Mobile phone users can scan the QR code to add to their calendar program. If you are on a basic subscription or the trial plan, you will only be able to copy this static file link. Stand alone and above subscription levels, you will have a choice between static or dynamic. Static file links 
will not update automatically as events, appointments, time off, and blackout dates are added or edited. The calendar will need to be manually refreshed in order to see those updates in your third-party calendar application. Dynamic file links will update automatically as those changes are made in your account. We recommend using the dynamic file link for most calendar applications. For employees, if you made the link accessible from their employee portal in the settings, then they can access their link by logging into their DJ employee portal, clicking on iCalendar links, then get calendar links. To add another DJP user's calendar to yours, log in to DJP, click settings at the top of your calendar, and then on DJEP calendars. Paste the calendar link they provided, and then click save settings. If you need to remove another user's iCalendar from yours, simply click the red remove button next to the link that you'd like to remove, click confirm, and then again save settings. Keep in mind that you can only utilize dynamic calendar links. Static calendar links will not work. Please note added calendars from other DJEP users will show up in your employee dashboard calendar, but they are not editable from within your DJEP account. That means you can only see the details that they shared with you. You will not be able to edit that event from within your portal. Should you encounter an issue with your iCalendar links, such as certain items not appearing in your third-party calendar application, there are two basic troubleshooting steps that you can take. The first is to check the health of your iCalendar. To do that, log in to DJP, click on Setup, then of course, iCalendar. Next to the iCalendar link that you would like to check, click the blue Actions button and select Health Check. This will show you the details that are being exported in that calendar link. This is the information that should be appearing in your third-party application and allows us to make sure our DJP calendar is exporting what it should be. The second step to troubleshooting is refreshing the calendar link. This is something that you will need to do if you are on a basic plan or using the static calendar link. You will need to refresh it in order to see updates in your third-party calendar application. If you are using the dynamic link and are missing some items for some reason, you may need to refresh as well. Again, click on Actions next to the calendar that you would like to refresh and click Refresh Calendar. This will update and republish your iCalendar link. Please keep in mind that when adding an iCalendar link to your third-party application, it may take some time to populate, up to 48 hours in some cases. If you have checked the iCalendar link using the health check to make sure it's exporting the correct data and have refreshed the iCalendar but still do not see those items in your third-party application after 48 hours, you will need to reach out to that application support for assistance. Don't forget, we are here to help as well. Should you encounter any errors or have any questions, click the support options in the left menu and find us by live chat or on the support forum. Hope you have found this walkthrough helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive future updates. We'll see you next time. Happy planning.